Hi there once again, welcome to Innovation Hub. In this channel, you get to learn new things every single time that you come to watch our videos. Today, I'm going to be building a website for news. So anybody who's been looking forward to like uh, build a website that is for blogs, news, you know, newspapers, news channels, radio channels, those kind of uh, genres of uh, those kinds of fields, we are going to be building a website for you people and I'll be taking you through all the steps in this video. So join me. If you like this content, I ask you to please subscribe to this channel and also click on that notification bell so that you get notified whenever we upload a new video. Also, just a reminder, share this video to as, much, to as many people as possible so that you can get an increment in terms of the algorithms. It helps us a lot, you know. So without wasting too much time, let's start in this video. Just in case you're joining us in this video, the previous videos that we did were talking on WordPress, touching on WordPress and Elementor. Today, I'm not going to use Elementor. I'll be using WordPress with totally different plugins. And uh, I'm going to use the same, same domain that we used in the previous episodes. Just differently, we cl cleared all the information that was there before. We refreshed it and then now it's clean and we're going to start working on it. This particular theme. So we are starting with Envato Elements, the same same platform that I come to download all my themes. So Envato Elements, I go to WordPress and then, okay, I I wrote, I wrote my own things. It should be the newspaper. So the newspaper, and then now I'm not going to be temp using template kits. I'll be using themes so that I can be able to see exactly which which can what which kind of theme that I'll be using not template kit, because template kits, I was using them on Elementor. This time I'm using a theme, which has different plugins. So you learn new things in this episode. Um, we have a lot of templates, as you can see, newspaper, Java paper, Gothia, different Kante, you know, all these are types of, and they look like, you know, they, you know if you look at uh, The Guardian, Newspaper, the, the Guardian, how it looks like. This is actually exactly how those kind of themes looks like. The black and white newspaper, modern, vintage. So this kind of style is what, you know, it looks like a, a hard copy paper, but in a digital format. <laughs> On the newspaper, we have different forms. We have the classic, modern, and the vintage one, as you saw in that. Then you have all these are categories, politics, technology, from the previous videos, we talked about categories and we talked about posts and we talked about pages. So these ones are categories. And you can see the menu is really amazing. You know, it's nice. Another thing is that you can see seamless images are very nice here. So I need to download by clicking download and then going to download. So it's going to start downloading. And unlike the one for Elementor template kits, I'm not going to go to the dust to the trash bin so that I can retrieve the, the zipped folder. This one is a bit different, so just follow. I'm going to go to downloads. The one that is already unarchived is the one that I'm going to get. So I have two themes. You have uh, the child and then the newspaper. And then you have all the demo content, doc, docs, and all these things. So the newspaper this is the one that I'm going to use. Uh, we'll talk about child in another video, but today we're going to just focus on this. So my dashboard for WordPress is here, siha.so, which is very clean. As you can see, the posts are clean. Oh, we have hello, so I'm going to just delete it so that we can have clean posts. Categories, pages are clean. Oh, we have two pages here, so I'm going to clean them. Okay, when you look at, uh, the, the rest are okay. Plugins, we put light speed cache, classic editor, and maintenance, so that's good. So I'm going to go to my appearances and then I go to themes. Here I'm going to up, add a theme and then I'm going to upload by taking this zipped the newspaper and dragging it over here and then selecting install now. So when I select install, it's going to download that theme and compress it and then pack, 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 unpack it and then you know do it do the thing that is there. So after that, I'm going to activate the theme so that it can take effect. Previously, it was like this. So after I have activated, let's see what the theme looks like. So it has already taken uh, shape. You know, it looks already nice. 
So what I usually start, I just go through the, the theme options that are there so that I can familiarize myself with them. I've not used this theme before, so it's my first time to actually see it. That's why I'm also learning with you as we are doing this video. But the first thing I do is go to begin installing plugins. So these are the required plugins. We have CMS Master. So when I was saying that um, when you use themes, it comes with a lot of plugins. And some of those plugins are not going to, they are going to actually destroy your website. So that's why I really don't like using themes. I, I just like using template kits. So the theme that I use is Hello on Elementor and then Elementor template kits. It's even lighter. But when I use themes, then this is the, the, the challenge that I get to find myself in. So we have lots of, of, uh, of, of plugins, you see, CMS, masters, you know, rip sliders, and battle market, and all those other themes, other plugins, I mean. So we are installing 10 plugins. You remember, the previous one, we had only installed six plugins. This one is going to have more than 10 plugins. So because bear in mind that we, already, we had already installed three plugins, so we have 13 plugins in total. So after installing the plugins, you have to go back to return to theme and then see the required, required plugins. And then you can now do activation. So you have to activate by, install, by selecting all of them. Actually, I don't need Envato Market because we are doing a tutorial. So activate it and then we see what is going to happen. So from them, I'm just seeing uh, CMS master. OK, leave that one alone. OK. So let's go back to the dashboard by clicking here. And then you see what is the notification that we are, we are getting ourselves into. This is a revolution slider. This is this, you know, the plugin that enables for you to have uh, images to slide, you know, that header side of the, the website. You can be able to have uh, sliders. And it's really used by many website developers, many website designers. You can see, for example, this one is uh, an example of how Rev Slider looks like. When you've gone to websites and you've seen how the home pages look like, you see this one, the landing pages, I mean. So let's just see sample of templates, and then you can see what I mean when I say Rev Slider, Revolution Sliders. So this is an example. This is a, this is a slider. You see this one. This is a slider. It is at the home page. You see this is an example of a slider. So the home page, the landing page. You see, if you've seen Apple website, the way it looks like those kind of simulations are what sliders does. So it slides an image, a media file, a video. It slides on that home page. It's really uh, interactive and very nice. So when you come to here. Uh, there's a lot of things that is happening over here. Um, you can see that there's a lot of things here, but the last one here is called import demo content. It's a similarity of the same process that we did when we did with Elementor template kits. We manually imported the template kit into the kit library, but here we are doing an automated version of that. So the theme that we, we had selected the, is the modern one. So. We, we have three options, the home page, which is vintage, modern, and main. So I'm going to select the modern one. And then these options, which you have import demo data, which is including the posts, pages, uploads, attachments, everything, import theme settings, and then import theme sliders. So I'm going to select import, and then I see what is going to happen. So it has already, um, I, I believe um, it's already imported. So let me just go and check. In my pages, yeah, you can see that we have pages now. When you come here and then look posts, you can see that we have also posts. So what are we going to do? Let's go to our page website and then try to reload it and then see what is happening. So you can see we actually over installed. We did like the process multiple times. So what are we going to do now? We need to just come back to the pages. And then we need to look at the duplicated pages so we can be able to trash them, OK? What we should actually be doing is checking our website, how it looks like. We are on Siha. 
and then let's go to modern. Okay, now I'm understanding. It's taking me to another link. So I need to go back and then go to my pages. Actually, go to customize. And then here on customize, I'm going to look at home page, latest news, everything is good there. Site identity, menus. So this primary menu, we have invalid menus. So all these that are invalid need to somehow find their way out of this place. So we have, okay, so we have more than here. We have, it's a duplication of menus. So I'm going to just delete the ones that I do not want so that I remain with what I actually want. So all these are invalid. Actually, I think we, we, we imported these files maybe three or four times. That is where the problem started. Okay, so we have home, which is modern. We can actually rename it from here. So it, we have home, then you can now publish it. So we have uh, done something. Okay, now let's close it and then you see what's actually happening over here. As you can see, we have a website which is already fine now. Yeah, we, the, the challenge was that we installed the, the theme more than three times. So it was importing that demo data more than three times. So we installed the theme once, but the demo data was being imported more than three times, actually three times. So that's why we, we encountered that problem. Now we are in good standing. When you select each page, each, I don't know it's a page, yeah, it's each page is going to have its own news, its own categorized news, and you can see them technology, you can see fashion and style, you can see food, all these are there. Now that we have already, we have, we have already cleaned the design that we actually wanted, we have the page, that the website, that the framework, the, the, the most important is the, the framework. Now we already have the framework that we wanted. The next thing is actually going to the next stage, which is branding it to make sure that this content is going to be enough. This content is going to be good. So what is important here, we need to find something called a logo. So the logo is when we saw, I think it was somewhere here. Theme, I saw it was settings, where was it? I saw, I don't remember where that thing is. Okay, theme settings. This one, we have theme settings. So this is where we have to change the logos. So choose logos by choosing the image that you want. So when you select this one, you know that it is 1244 by 220. You should always maintain those settings. So this is 1244 by, so you go to your designer of choice. Mine, I use uh, Photoshop. And Photoshop, uh, it's saying you have to use 1244 by 220. So I go 1244 by 220. And then I'm going to put uh, 72, and then it's on RGB. And here I'm going to say, see her news. Or see her news. Okay, let me write, see her journal. Okay, you cannot see anything because the color is white, but I'm going to change it to black so you can be able to see what you're writing. And then I'm going to make it like this, oh, sorry. So this is just a simple logo that we are making, of course, because of the tutorial. So I told that we're going to go every step, one, you know, each step that we are going to follow me and you. So once it's there, I'm going to upload the file from the desktop, which is she her journal. And then let's see what happens. So we have that one there, retina logo. I'm going to just use the same one. I believe it's going to help. Um, Let's see, let's see what happens. Uh, we have, it's not fitting, it's not actually fitting. <laughs> so let's see, I think the Retina logo should be, choose your logo. The issue, they don't even tell us what size it should be. But let's see. This one looks smaller. This one, this one, six. 
this should be the retina one, so which is 1244 by 220. And then we have 622 by 110. So 622 by 110. So 622 by 110. So 622 by 110, and then I'm going to just copy the same, same logo. I put it over here. Then we resize it to that. Uh, okay. Then let's come and delete this one. Um, export it as PNG as well. Then you say, see her journal. So I'm going to upload this one. See uh, her. When I upload it, let's see what will happen. So this one should be the logo image, and then this one should be the retina. Retina one. Okay, the retina one is this one. Too. Okay. But why they're not bigger or, you know, I don't know what's happening. So let us save. I'm saving it twice so that I can see why this thing is not working. It's just problematic. Let's try and go to customize and see what's happening here. See, now it's working. <laughs> Okay, but what's not what's not happening? You know, it's funny. Anyway, we know that maybe it, it's some issue with my computer with cache. I don't know, because everything is here. So we say, see her journal, do the site identity, menus. Everything is there and it's working perfectly. Sidebar, everything is good. Homepage, static. Uh, it's not static. It's so we have to save. So see her journal, and then we have home politics. So how do you get to change this? All this that you're seeing here, when you talked about categories, posts, and all those kind of things, are here. So these are the articles. The articles you're writing, they have categories. So we have all posts. So if you want to add a new post, you'll add it over here, and then you have categories. These are the categories that we have so far, and each category is also attached to the page that you're actually doing it to. So for example, we want to write an article, and then we say um, food, food security, and urgent concern, in Africa. I'm, I'm just going to use uh, Gemini to compose an article for that. So I'm going to ask artificial intelligence to Gemini to come up with an article for purposes of this. <laughs> but this is not usually what we do, but we'll try to do it today. So I'll just come and copy it and then come here and then paste everything here, okay? So we have the information here and then we want to say it's about food. Yeah, so after we do that, we need to get at least a photo. So let's say food security. Food security, and then I'm going to get some images over here. Uh, this one looks nice. So let me save this one. Uh, this, is, this is like a training. I need something like, no, no, no. I need something like this, yeah. So just download the image. It's already downloaded. I'll just come here to the featured image. Below here, we have featured image. So I come to uploads, and then I come here to downloads, and then I select that particular image. Of course, that's not the way you're supposed to do. The image you need to, after download the image, you must, you must name it, you must retitle, you must put a nice, a nice title, okay? So the title is here. I'm going to change it. Food security in Africa. Okay, and then I'm going to save it. So when I save, that particular image should come here. So we have food security images here. And then we have to preview the article before we post. So we have to select preview. And you see, the article looks nice. Very well written. 
you can, you know, it's amazing, right? So now that you're happy with that article, you just click publish. Once you do that, your article is ready for viewership. So you see, see her journal, and this is the article. So on that particular home, you have it there. You've already seen how, how articles are done. We've already written an article. We've, done, we've changed the logo. We've actually come here to change the title for business. You've seen that you can change pages names. But now inside those pages, there is something called the composer, the design composer. Each page has its own design composer. So unlike Elementor, which was you know already built, you can now drag and drop. And even here, you can do that. But you have to also understand the composer that is being used here. When you see this is uh, business, this is also business, how it looks like. So you've seen that up here, this is where we have it's already divided. You have all those information. You have sliders, dividers. We have the types of posts and the blog section, so the type of article that will be appearing. It's getting from the categories that we had already created earlier. So this is what is here. When you understand everything here is manual, if, of course it takes time, but you have to go through it and understand that when you write an article, you put it in that category, and then when you go to that page, you select articles from that specific category. So for example, the business articles, you must have category as business. So that when you come here to write those articles that you want to appear on that business page, you must go to that category. As you can see here, blog, these are the categories. So you have to select the, the one that you want and then add it there. And then those articles will be appearing on that section once you're done. So I believe with this, you already have an overview of how to come up with WordPress website, how to build WordPress websites. This is a theme using a theme. I believe with this, you've already had an interview. So I believe with this, you already have an overview or an idea of what it means to build a website using WordPress theme. The previous one was WordPress using building website using uh, Elementor. This one, we've actually done it using a theme that has its own plugins. I've not gone through each and every plugin. I know we, we don't have enough time for that, but in future videos, I'm going to now talk about plugins and those each plugin and its particular features and its capabilities so i look forward to seeing you in the next videos about web design and other content that you do publish on this youtube channel thank you